Hi everybody, this is Tammy and I'm back with another video as a member of the Wild Darker Craft Design Team. So this week I went with a fall theme project and I'm really, really, really excited about the way that it turned out. So first let me share with you the Wild Darker Craft products that I used on my project. So here is my tray of goodies. Love, love it. Um, let me adjust the camera. Okay. So the first thing that I use is the um, white gypsophilia flowers on a stem and these are MKX 631. I also used some of the uh, mixed earth tone tea roses and these are 40 millimeter. These are QVR 018 and you can see I don't have that many left but I love this because of the variety of the colors of the flowers that are in the package and I used almost all of them on my project. I also used um, a lot of the 20 millimeter um, open roses from this mixed brown tone pack, which is MKX 072. I used some of the 10 millimeter open roses from this mixed pack, which is MKX 305. I used some of the brads from this mixed color medium moonstone brads pack, which is MKX 227. I also used some of the mixed leaves and these are um, 100 mixed leaves and it's MKX 435 so look at the variety of colors that you get and I used mostly this color here and then this the brown ones so those are the colors that I used on my project and then I also used um, some berries from this uh, gold Christmas berry spray and this is MKX 351 and and you by the way you get a lot of berries you can see how many I cut off but you get a lot of berries on this spray and then I also used some white guy pure lace which I colored the whole thing with some glimmer mist um, but it's a really 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 beautiful lace so pretty so love 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 that and now, um, let me share with you my project. And this is my project, and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, it is inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest, but I had to kick it up a notch by adding some beautiful Wild Darker Craft products. And then I also added some chipboard letters to spell out the word fall. So they are wine glass tea light holders. Um, I put them on a one of my altered silver trays. This one I is one that I spray painted with the Rust-Oleum Ivory Bisque spray paint. I added this really beautiful sequin leaf here, some fabric leaves, some pine cones, some um, acrylic table scatter. That's all on the base and then there's also this really cute little um, scarecrow here. So that's all on the base and let me zoom in a little bit and I'll go over each of the glasses in more detail. So I'll start with the F. These are some um, glass tea light holders that I had already in my stash. And I thought the color was perfect. Uh, so I put those up there. But it's just a wine glass. And I, pur I purchased these from the um, 99 cent store. And I got different sizes and different shapes as you'll see once I hold them all up. So this is the first one. So you just invert it, color it, um, paint it with some paint. I used some acrylic paint actually three different colors of acrylic paint two were orange and then one yellow and um, and for the green I used two different colors of green and in the orange paint I mixed in some um, it was like a candle medium <laughs> because I didn't have any like glass medium for acrylic paint and the candle medium said that it would um, help acrylic paint adhere to slick surfaces so I figured you know it couldn't hurt so I mixed it with the candle medium and it's 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 been on there pretty well and that you know I've wet it with some um, some glimmer mist and it didn't pucker or chip off or anything like that so I'm really happy with that uh, so here on the after I painted it I added one of the fabric leaves um, from my stash and then here are here's the gypsophilia and I hope I'm saying that right so here's a gypsophilia the, this is some of the earth tone tea roses 
this is some of the um, brown from the brown tone 20 millimeter open rose pack and I love that one because it's also like a two tone like a gold and a brown really really pretty and then this is one of the um, the brads and I pulled out all of like the goldish color brads so I pulled all those out and you'll see them on my project and this is one of the beaded berries from that spray and then these are also some of the Wild Orchard Craft leaves from the um, mixed leaf pack. Those leaves go so far and there's so many different shapes. Um, so awesome. So that's the first one. And then I did add a chipboard F and I painted it with some copper acrylic paint. And then I added three of the, um, the 10 millimeter open roses from the mixed pack on the bottom of, of the, or beside each of the um, letters. And then on the top, these are just some felt leaves that I had picked up from Michael's last year. So that one sits right there, and the tea light goes right on top. And then here is the A. Um, so some more of the Earth Tone Tea Roses, uh, some more of the Gypsophilia. These are some of the brown leaves from that um, mixed leaf pack. So you get a bunch of different colors that you can use on a variety of different projects. Uh, and also on the first one, I forgot to point out that really beautiful uh, Guy Pierre lace. And I colored it with some, um, oh, it's uh, some glimmer mist. So really pretty. And then another one of the berries, another one of the brads, some more of the open roses, the 10 millimeter open roses, and more of the 20 millimeter open roses. And this is one of the open roses that came out of the um, the little freebie gift pack. Um, so love that, and I just love the tones of the um, the tea roses. Really, really beautiful. So that's the A, and then the first L. So I got different shaped glasses, and I also pulled different shaped chipboard letters, so that everything's not you know one shape or size or whatever. So here is the other. This is the first L. So really, really beautiful. And you can see more of the lace there. This is um, some more of the Gypsophilia, the 20 millimeter open roses, the 10 millimeter open roses, some more of the berry spray, some of the tea roses, and then another one of the brads, another one of the uh, berry sprays, and then the beautiful lace. And I have some of the Gypsophilia wrapping up the stem of the glass or the stem of the pumpkin. And then those are the table scatters, and then I also put one of the brads there. Um, so that's the first L, and then this is the, uh, the last L. So really beautiful, love the shape of this glass, and I pulled a really pretty, really big L for that one. Some more of the 10 millimeter open roses, 20 millimeter, the tea roses, some more of the leaves from the mixed pack, some more of the berries, uh, that's one, another one of the 20 millimeter open roses and then um, three of the tea roses from that mixed pack and some more of the gypsophilia and you, I hope you can see the shimmer that's on all of the glasses that's from some um, some uh, glimmer mist and I think it's called pearl so really beautiful I'm so 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 happy with the way that this came out it's so pretty and um, I think it's gonna look really nice lit on my coffee table so um, I will be putting that up in the next couple of days and um, and you know putting out my fall decorations so thank you so much everybody for watching I will put the uh, product codes for everything that I use from Wild Orchid Craft in the description box below as well as a link to their website to their Facebook group to the um, to the Pinterest group uh, so definitely go and check them out and remember that they don't only sell shabby chic colors, obviously. The mix packs are really, really awesome. Um, you get a variety of colors that coordinate, but that you can use on a variety of different projects. And they have some really, really beautiful earth-toned flowers that you can use for fall, for, um, for Halloween, for Thanksgiving projects. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye!